Hi, my, main, my name is Giorgio Mircea, I'm from EU, from Europe, okay? So I started this channel against the uh, Big Bang. I study philosophy here in Romania, I have 42 years old. I discovered that the Big Bang is false, okay? So that's why I started this channel. I thought that it is important. But what happens when you discover that the Big Bang is false from a physical argument? There are uh, lots of things that will crumble, like domino. Why? Because the Big Bang is based on the stretching of light, which is false. Light does not stretch physically. It's a, it's a stupidity. Okay, so the age of the universe falls, because the age of the universe is given through the expansion of the universe, of the stretching of the light. The stars are going uh, away from us, not the stars, but the galaxies, okay? So this implies the Big Bang, this implies the, the ages of the universe and still even the distance to, uh, towards the stars. So once you discover that this is only a, the a theory, a matter of fact, a story, and by the way, this is how I feel myself. I, I, I don't feel myself perpendicular, okay? So that's why I start this channel against the Big Bang. Once you discover the Big Bang is false, the age of the universe falls, the distance uh, of the stars and the age of the stars and things like this fall. fall. So what I, what I say is that the expansion of the universe is false. The stretching of light is false. The infrared will not make himself red. The, the infrared, uh, it's a property of light, of energy and uh, a way of modulation of light. So you cannot change the modulation of the light in red or in other color. So the, the galaxy that emit infrared or things like this, the stars were supposed in old days, in 16, they did not know what light is. So the stretching of light is false. Uh, you cannot change from these light bulbs that emit infrared in red. You must energize supplementary and emit in that. This, this is on short physics, <laughs> if you know physics. The light does not stretch. But once you know this, that light does not stretch, you, you, you understand that this distance of the stars is false. Okay? If you have holes in the spectrum, you, you made the holes in the spectrum, that pictures with hole, uh, that kind of pictures or hole in the spectrum, that holes implied, you must have a delta, delta T. A difference from T1 from T2 to make a difference in light you observe this uh, hole in a spectrum and another at uh, another time to make a Delta and to to make a difference in calculus so an instant of, of the holes in spectrum do not prove only so the the pictures are but are interpret wrongly there are absorption lines or things like this. Okay, the light does not stretch. The second point is, and only for the Big Bang is background radiation. Background radiation free Kelvin in, in a microwave. You, you, you do not, you do not, you are not allowed to presuppose that that microwave comes from the Big Bang. You observe that it is, and you are not allowed to. So this is only a bad conjecture. Even arguments against the Big Bang, from temperature even, you, you, you do not put on a graph 13.7 billion years and you fall down in temperature uh, until you reach 3 Kelvin, because it is wrong, because the, all the temperature has a limit function. The function of the temperature has, have a, has a limit. Like water, 100 degrees Celsius and it stops, the function stops 
there are functions like this the function does not goes does not go any further than that it stops any numbers you get in it the function stops okay so the temperature it's it's uh, an argument against the big bang why because they they gave uh, 15 billion of billion of billion of billion of billions of the degrees what is false it is false you do not have any material that could produce physically this kind of temperature this, this is one argument against the big bang okay so the radiation the radiation even uh, uh, shows you that these guys that invented this they are, they are stupid physically stupid i don't know their personal lives okay so another argument the Planck constant Planck already calculated that the big bang is false why because the calculus of Planck is for one particle of, of energy he calculated what is the smallest particle of energy that you can think about and identically how it is at the temperature temperature functions the mathematical function that Planck calculated does not go any further there are functions like this in mathematics if you know mathematics so what this is implies there is a piece of energy that is not more small than this but this implies a uh, 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 even further things why because if you have the smallest energy that you can calculate implies the smallest mass and the smallest in the equations so what this is implies a smaller piece the smallest piece of space and time that you can think of because that energy particle has must have a, a smaller piece of energy so Planck already calculated that the Big Bang is false if you understand if you know the energy of the entire energy of the universe you cannot gather the energy only in the sphere calculated by Planck not a general constant not a general plan of, of space okay you, you uh, like Planck dimension you cannot pull all the matter in Planck constant this is wrongly believed by some guys that they, they they condense in infinite what infinite it's not infinite density they condense the whole matter in an infinite point so this is false because you can gather the energy only in the sphere maximum sphere, sphere allowed by the Planck constant the mass if you know the mass in energy but you lie that you know all of you are liars from you you are lying all the earth to to learn things that you invented like like child so what we we what should we study if you lie like this why you have rockets made by von braun and this is engineering science and you lie science so a country that has that money to have a rocket you enter the science for the everybody on earth so i'm not talking only for the english speaking guys like england and america i'm talking that these things should be known uh, from uh, on earth about every, everybody i don't need money okay I don't need this visualization. I'm not a YouTuber. I I open this channel only against the Big Bang. This is the argument from Planck constant. From the density, the, the force, the, fo the pressure, the force of the pressure increases once you decrease, decrease the volume and the mass. And he tells through infinity. So even before you think uh, you obtain a sphere from the pressure because you cannot pressure an ob object physically the pressure in it's a function goes at infinity the force you need you to pressure so you must have an infinite energy to pressure the universe further than a sphere from Planck constant from the light perspective the light has space space time included in it it's included in a, a wave function what this is implies is again similar like Planck constants a quantum of light the minimum quantum of a point of light and energy has a minimal space 
even even though it's variable like like it is an area it is an area even even if it's a function like an area it is a smaller area that you can calculate so again you cannot destroy light this this interdicts einstein einstein if you understand physics okay so again if you have a sphere of light you have a maximum sphere of light maximum sphere of luminos luminosity so if you gather the entire lumi uh, light from the universe you can only gather in a maximum density of, of admitted light Be beyond this density the light loses function of being okay so you encounter a sphere so why the the the, the universe must came from a sphere why so i don't believe that the calculus of uh, is true of stephen hawking but even from the stephen hawking point of view is false at certain density the laws of physics collapse so what this implies any further uh, next episode if you i put this episode short that you can watch but in the next in the next episode